The project that I designed was focused around a handbrake adapter for my left hand, which has a form of Simbrai Chiradactyl. So because of this, it has undeveloped fingers that basically means it's shorter and some of them webbed. So as you can see, the fingers cannot fully extend and reach the brake. It has to physically lift up and remove itself from the handbrake to be able to actually use the handbrake. So because of that, I decided to design something that does it. So my first thought was doing something that's really easy for the user, which is basically a cylinder that's able to slide on and you can rotate it. So that way the string attached to a hook is able to just pull up on the handlebar and do that for you. The problem with that is in terms of manufacturing, one of the bite grips that it has is a lot of extruded little rectangles so because of this i thought it's something a bit more simpler in terms of manufacturing so the second prototype was focused around more of the manufacturer instead of having one cylinder that goes over it which made the manufacturing hard this one focused on having a pulley system that made the manufacturing slightly bit easier as there was no need to have a lot of little engravings here and there instead it was just a simple rectangle that goes over the cell which is able to lock onto the sides and instead of rotating it just has a, it just has a pulley which the user is able to place the hand on top of the pulley and bring it towards them this makes it safer for the user as the hand will constantly be on the handlebar in one form or another it also had to be rotated so that it pulls up on the pulley at the proper angle because when completely horizontal it fails to be able to provide a proper pull then from here, in order to simplify the process even more for the assembly, it was condensed down into two parts. So the third one was inspired from a servant engineering project featuring two locks that had that resembled an Omega. The idea behind this was that for prototype number three, the locks are able to hook onto the bike. This reduces the need. This helps it stay stable when you're going over rocky surfaces. Also, the pulley was completely removed in favor, of a vertical, in favor of a horizontal lever. This had to be rotated and tilted a bit because when it simply goes on as is, parallel to the handlebar, it is unable to be, it is unable to pull effectively. When tilted, it's able to pull at the same angle of the handlebar, making it easier to pull up, triggering the handbrake. As you can see, the two Omega locks were then removed in favor of just one lock that's easier for assembly by reducing the number of parts and quicker manufacturing as only one part, as only one lock is needed. This is the third prototype. It locks on over instead of having to go over the entire thing it just locks on half of it, making it easier to add in making it easier to take on and off and the lever so this is the proof of concept the proof of concept was demonstrated by an adapter for free weights the idea is similar to base to the other three prototypes where a string will be able to connect onto something that the left hand is able to leverage in order to pull it this was done by using a lever similar to prototype three but at a angle where the user can just push down. This makes it more natural for the user as well as still be able to maintain the sun grip. As you can see when the user pulls down, it pulls up on the string which pulls the handbrake closer to them which activates the handbrake allowing the user to slow down. Overall, this project has been very effective 